Number 24. Suppose a clay model of a koala bear has a mass of 0.2 kilogram and slides on ice at a speed of 0.75 meters per second. It runs into another clay model which is initially motionless and has a mass of 0.35 kilograms. Being soft clay, they naturally stick together. What is their final velocity? All right, so basically, uh, here's a little, you know, drawing. We have two states to the system. We have before the collision and after the collision. So before the collision, we got two objects which are separated. We got one object that has a mass and a velocity, and another object that has a mass and no velocity. After the collision, they are going to stick together. So they're going to have some mass, right? What would be the mass? What do you think? What's the mass of this system? Well, if they're both together, this is one now new piece, right? Or one whole piece, which is comprised of both the black and red ball, which represents the koala bear uh, or bears. And we would just add the masses, right? So the black one was 0 0.200 and the red one was 0 0.350. All right. And they're asking us for their final velocity. So that's basically this value right here. So now remember, um, this is this is basically an inelastic collision problem. We have to use then the law of conservation of momentum that says that the initial momentum in the system is equal to the final momentum. Okay. Another way to frame this would be that the momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum after. Okay. And I'll write those in. So the momentum before the collision is comprised of two objects which are separated. Okay, so basically it's the momentum of the first object plus the momentum of the second object will equal then the momentum after or the momentum of the total, right, of them together. So expanding these terms on out, what I can find here is I can now remember that momentum is just mass times velocity. So the, so the momentum of the first object will be the mass of that first object multiplied by its velocity. Okay, um, so basically m1 v1. Not to be confused with M1V1 in chemistry, which is molarity and volume, but they look similar, right? For those of you who are taking chemistry. Uh, plus then, this is basically M2V2. And this will then now be uh, M total, right? Times the final velocity. Okay. So the remember the mass total, I can expand that to be, I mean, I already found it here, but I could have called it M1 plus M2 if I wanted all right, so to find the final velocity, what I have to do, I have to divide out the total mass of the objects, right, when they're stuck together. And I realize I have a nice little formula here that says all I need to know are the masses, their velocities, oops, and I can calculate, right, the total, the total mass. Okay, so let's just plug it all in. So the final velocity here will be equal to the uh, mass and the velocity of the first object, we'll call that the black one. So this is point, let me give myself actually a little more room. I got so much room here. Not used to that, right? These problems usually take up an entire page. 0 0.200 multiplied then by the velocity of 0 0.750 plus then the mass of the second object times its velocity of 0 0.350 multiplied by zero all over then the total mass, which we basically found over here. I just didn't add them together, but it looks like if you add them together, you're going to get a value of 0.550. Okay. So just throw it into the calculator. Obviously the second term just falls off. So it's basically just 0.2 times 0.75 divided by 0.55. And this works out to be positive 0.273. If I round to uh, three significant figures. This is meters per second. Notice it is positive. And what does that tell us? Well, it tells us the direction. So basically this system after the collision should move to the right. Now it's not moving as fast as the ball initially here as the black ball. And that should make sense, right? Because the black ball hit a red ball that was motionless. So we know it can't go backwards. That wouldn't make any sense, right? If they stuck together. Um, so everything sounds like it makes sense. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I look forward to helping you with the next question. Have a great day.